cotton balls. I'm 39 weeks pregnant and I feel like I don't even recognise myself anymore. I look back on my life a year ago today and I was a completely different person. I'd be at every party and that party, I would be the life and soul of that party. And um, my friends would describe me as crazy. I was really involved with the Black Lives Matter protests and stuff. I'd be writing um, speeches, poems, and reading them out at the rallies. Why are we here today? Because another black life paid. Because another cop killed for hate. Say his name, George Floyd all day. Now I'm looking at my life now, and it's like, I'm at a standstill, I'm not doing anything. And that's one thing that I'm really worried about. I don't want to be the girl that just got pregnant and did nothing with her life. Before I got pregnant, I was at college and I want to go back when the baby's four months old. I feel so stressed that I'm missing out. What's that for? College. See. So how are you thinking about college with the baby? So my plan was to go back in January, but I'm not really sure how I feel about my baby with strangers. Having a baby does not stop you from achieving your goals. Yeah. I was going back to work when you were three months old. Another thing I'm a bit, like, worried about, when I started college, I didn't have a baby. And, like, within the first few weeks, the workload was already, like, quite a lot. I don't get a special pass because I'll miss my... My baby kept me up all night because I've chosen to go back to college. If it gets too much, then, like, that's going to be, like, another year that I'm going to be behind. I feel like I failed. You remember 18. Don't ever feel you're failing. Don't ever feel that. I am proud of you. I don't care what the rest of the world think. Honestly, you may not realise. I know you're crying. It's not me, it's the baby. Is it the baby? Oh! You know how proud I am with you. You know how strong you are. It's okay to cry. It's okay. Oh, that is lovely. We're gonna find a nice nursery for the baby, and you're gonna make up your mind where you want the baby to go. I know my mum's trying to be encouraging, but it's adding so much pressure. My mum's got really high standards and, like, she had really high expectations of me, like, do well in school. So, like, it's something that's always, like, in the, like, centre of my mind that I'm thinking about here and there. I feel like all I do at the moment is stay in the house and look after Arlo. I just haven't been in the right headspace to do anything else. Recently, I've been really stressed, so where I am feeling like that, that's where my anxiety comes in. You know, it stops you from going places sometimes. It just puts on so much effect to your life. And it started a load of arguments between me and Jamie. Do you know I struggle to explain things like? Don't to cry, eh? Who are you? What have I done? Like every day. I love our little bits, but I need some adult conversation. My mum's house is a nightmare to get to, but I'm desperate to see her. She's the only person I can talk to when I feel like this. Oh my god, the train's there. Moving away from my village where me had Arlo was really hard. And I hate how much effort it takes to get a cut from my mum. My mum is everything to me. You all right? Oh, yeah. heavy. Miss me? Yeah, yeah. Wait a little bit. I got it. You promise. I love you. I love you. So, how is it going? You all right? Nah, God, I didn't sleep last night. Tomorrow. Well, I was in bed and I just felt really restless, like, 
like panicky, Nikki. like a panic attack. I yeah. just felt, I don't know. Yeah, so you're a bit tearful now, isn't it? Yeah. Like, no, you're OK. It's, it won't last I know, like, yeah. Promise. You'll be fine. It's just my hormones, man. I'm yeah. sure, like, it's every not. time I see you or something, I just got to... It's because you miss me and I miss you, that's I all. Know. But you, I promise you, I you do an episode. like well. my hormones are all over the place. Don't forget, you went through a lot. After having our law, I felt really ill with a lot of infections. You know, falling ill and being without Darlow in hospital really set my anxiety off. <laughs> Obviously, it is a really sore subject to still talk about as it still affects me every day. You nearly died at one point in hospital. Very lucky to be alive. I can't even anxiety. think about that hospital. No, but there you go. So it's, it's like post-traumatic it stress. It's like it makes it? me instantly... Yeah. I don't know. No, I get that. I know what it's like to feel low. I sort of keep it upbeat when I can and just keep talking to her and she talks to me and opens up, which she feels a lot better then. I'll get him back to that. He's teething. He is teething. Oh, what's the matter, buddy? Why are you screaming like your mother? Screaming like mommy? The most thing that I'm unhappy about at the moment is our house. OK. We've got no space. For a plan in action, maybe we should... We look for somewhere to live. Yeah. Stop scratching. It's my anxious, see? I'll spend my whole you've got to give yourself some credit, Aish. Look what you've achieved this year so far. You've had a lovely little baby boy. You've gone through what you went through in hospital. With you, it's a confidence thing. And once you break that, and the more you do things, the more you speak to people, the more confident you get. Seeing my mum always makes me feel good but I dread heading back to our little house and feeling lonely and down again. He's wrong now. Right? Right, love you. Ciao.